today we have to discuss the chapter sexual reproduction in flowering plant actually in first topic that is reproduction organism we explain all reproductive events in general but in this chapter we have to discuss how the flowering plants popularly we known as a angiosperms reproduce bisexually even angiosperms also reproduce asexual method for example we using stem cutting artificially for getting new plants then stem tuber potato gives young plantlet rhizome of turmeric gives young plantlet bulb of onion gives young plantlet then bryophyllum leaf buds gives a young plant all these are the asexual methods of reproduction whereas in the second chapter only you have to discuss the sexual reproduction process then as we know in first year angiosperms are the most predominant group of the plants therefore the sexual reproduction event is also more complex in case of angiosperms first here we consider the definition for flower flower is a modified shoot that means here the matured shoot modified to form the flower and it helps for reproduction helps for mainly a sexual reproduction hence the flower we also called a sex organ of the plant body then the specially four nodes of a stem modified to form the flower first node of the stem gives green colored sepals and they are units of calyx whereas second node gives colorful petals and these petals are units of corolla the third node gives stamens and these stamens are units of androecium the last node of the stem gives the gynecium which includes the specially ovary <coughs> style and stigma these three structure together called carpels and the carpels are units of gynecium in such a way four nodes of the stem modified to form a flower here one more modification is there the internodal length will be reduced internodal length of the that shoot or stem will reduce that results into formation of flower hence in a typical flower we have the specially four whorls that is the a calyx corolla androecium and gynecium and here in this uh, flower the cup shaped structure we call thalamus and these green colored what we call sepals colorful petals then the stamens lastly ovary <coughs> style stigma together form the specially what we call carpel then <coughs> in that first whorl what we call the name calyx represented by a sepals and uh, sepals are 
green in color and uh, generally their role is to what helps for photosynthesis and also when the flower is young it helps for protection then second part is corolla it is represented by colorful petals then it helps for attraction then third whorl androecium it is represented by stamens and it is male reproductive whorl finally the gynaecium is what is say the last whorl and it represented by the carpels and the carpels mainly includes ovary style and stigma it is female reproductive whorl sound and battery start in page number 20 we have a ls of flower here this flower diagram shows sepals there are units of calyx petals units of corolla stamens units of androecium ovary style stigma together form carpels they are units of gynaecium on this we are getting three marks question sketch and label start the study of flower is called entomology you know in first year in morphology of angiosperm we explain flower study where calyx their units corolla their units androecium their units gynaecium and their unit all it is with respect to the the anthology then floriculture means <clears throat> a scientific cultivation of flowering plants that means it is a applied branch andre new suppose the one acre land old rose marigold or yavdo commercial flower grow maadi market madta and floriculture then whatever in first year we explained regarding what flower structure then uh, arrangement of sepals arrangement of petals arrangement of stamens arrangement of carpels that is all comes under anthology then flower has the cultural importance then at the same time it also have the aesthetic importance then it also have some biological significance also therefore the scientist biologist called the flower as a a marvel of a specially flowering plants we say or jewels of flowering plants then the fertilization event includes three steps one is free fertilization event then second one fertilization event then third post fertilization event first one if you consider free fertilization event where before fertilization whatever the processes and changes take place in plant body you have to explain where structure of stamen structure of pollen grain formation of pollen grain microsporogenesis like that structure of gynaecium then ovule structure development of female gametophyte pollen grain structure pollination process all this phenomenon you have to study in free fertilization event whereas in fertilization event you have to explain how union of egg and sperm takes place to form zygote 
terrestrial plants in post fertilization we explain embryo formation endosperm formation seed formation fruit formation today 